what will happen with Gaza? In particular, what will happen with the nation of Israel and Palestine, the Palestinian people? What is going to happen? I'm going to give you a more sure word of prophecy right now. And that comes from the scriptures. Not my own thinking, not my own mind, but what the Bible itself says. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 30 says, Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. Abraham had two sons according to this portion of scripture right here. The one by a bondwoman, she was, he was born after the flesh, and the other by a free woman, Sarah and Abraham, their child, which was Isaac. He was born after the spirit. He obtained the promise. The promise of what? And what does it mean? Cast out the bondwoman. Cast them out from where? That would be the land of Israel. You see, the Jewish people, the way that you can tell who's a Jew and who isn't, because there are fake Jews, those that say that they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Revelation 2.9 and Revelation 3.9 talks about that. So how can you tell who the real Jews are? The real Jews are the ones that are in the land. The ones that are connected to the land. And you say, well, but they're, they don't re, you know, believe in Jesus right now. They, they haven't accepted him as their Messiah. Well, they will in the future. That's what the whole book of Revelation is about. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Not, that to, not to the church, but to the nation of Israel. And uh, God brought them back in unbelief. And you have to remember that. Ezekiel chapter 36 teaches that. So even if you're a Jew and you say, I don't accept the New Testament, the Old Testament teaches that God brings you back in unbelief. Back to your land. And then he gathers you there. And I find it ironic that uh, I preached a sermon a few weeks ago. And uh, right after I preached that sermon, about two weeks later, we had the whole Hamas and attacking Israel thing and the war that got started over there. And now, right now, I guess as I'm speaking, uh, Saturday, the whatever it is, 28th, 29th, something like that of October, um, there's an invasion of Gaza happening. Uh, and what's going to happen? Well, according to our scriptures right here, the Palestinian people are going to be cast out. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be all upset at the nation of Israel, and they're going to say it's empire building, it's, it's uh, whatever else. That's because those people reject the scriptures. But the reality of it is, their opinion doesn't mean anything. God has his word, it's final, it is going to be fulfilled exactly as it says. And I still will hold to my belief and teaching that the Jewish people need to leave America as soon as possible. All right? I'm not anti-Semitic. I have a love for the Jewish people, as any Bible-believing Christian does. But what I'm saying is, God's word says you would be collected back, brought back to your land. And you say, well, I don't want to go back right now. There's war. There's all this bad stuff that's happening over there. I understand that. But what are the ramifications that will happen to Jews here in America when the world, the Islamic world, looks and they see American soldiers, servicemen, fighting alongside of the Jews and kicking those Palestinians, casting them out of the promised land. They get cast out and all of a sudden there is no more Gaza. Now it's just another part of Israel. Israel gets their land back. What do you think the Islamic nations are going to do? What do you think the Muslims are going to do that are already here in America to the Jews that are here? You see, I've been preaching for a long time that you'd have trad cat alt-right fascism coming in and driving the Jewish people out of America. And that could still happen. But there's another uh, group of people here in America that don't like the Jews, and that would be the radical Muslims. And there's a lot of those. Um, and quite frankly, at one point in time, the, the wasps, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants like me and my ancestors, at one point in time, we could protect the Jews here. But I believe scripture is being fulfilled to drive the Jews out of this land, out of America. And um, so please take heed to my advice if you're Jewish and uh, get back to Israel. You say, well, maybe I should wait till the war's over. Well, you can wait, but I'd make some plans because it could happen pretty quickly that the war in Israel, Gaza falls, and then you have, shortly after that, you will have things starting to happen here in America. And, uh, the Muslims in America rising up and going after the Jews and trying to murder and slaughter as many of you as, he, as they can. I believe that that's what's coming. Um, scripture 
teaches that the, that the son of the bondwoman will be cast out. So I can tell you that one definitely for sure. What happens, whether it's radical Islam that drives out the Jews from America, or the alt-right Nazi fascist Catholic movement, I can't say. I don't know. But uh, if I was you, I would seriously start to make some plans to get out of America. All right? Please do take my advice on that. Thank you very much for watching.